Legends blog, Friday, March 11th, 1649 hours. We're here shooting, we're, we're on the set of the video shoot for the Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield Professional Series. And uh, we got camera stuff happening. We got the big crane camera out. And we got Rob over there, Squeak, doing his thing. We got both of the HM100Us out. We've got the two aerial cameras. We got the two cameras back there. And uh, on top of that, we've got the contour camera. So there's eight cameras involved in this video shoot. It's insane. So, oh, something's going on. What? I don't know what they're doing. They probably don't know what they're doing, but we're having fun. And uh, we've got all the acid done for that back part of the room. And you can see the line here. They're doing this section right now. In order to uh, figure out where we're going, we had to develop a system to figure out what had been done and what hadn't. And we're using, if you look on the wall, you can see that seam right there. Those are control joints. And they actually go all the way up. And we're using those as our demarcation points so that we know where we're at in the process. And that little thing, that little pump, you can see it down on the front of the shot back. That's what's running right now, you can hear it. That is the best 40 bucks I've ever spent in my entire life. That thing is like, for sheer labor-saving devices, it's the tops. I love it, made my whole world better. So that's what's up, we're, we're making a movie, and uh, we'll have more for you guys later. That's it. Here's something you don't get to see every day. It's Steve's first time with the Steadicam. He's using the Merlin. And he's terrified. But he's doing all right. That's pretty good for a first time. Better than my first time. Look at that, it actually looks like we know what we're doing today, doesn't it? It happens from time to time. Well, yeah, I've got it set up really bottom heavy because it's your first time and I want it to be relatively stable. Yeah, well, I'm trying to... We'll tweak it out. I'll set it up later on. Yeah, you have to balance it maybe a little tighter because I can't tilt up and down as easy as I'd like. But let me get some practice on it where it's not going to float away from me. Sometime soon, we've got to get a uh, proper LCD monitor for this thing and mount it to the pole because this sucks pretty bad to use at a high angle. Show them the video, too. Huh? Show them the video. Oh, right here. That's nice and yellow. <laughs> it's such a crappy monitor. It's more than a little awkward to use. Show them how you do it with a high angle shot. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta get a real monitor and mount it on there. Just something up on the pole here with a little flat panel. Doesn't have to be very big. It could be a rather tiny monitor like that, like a 10 inch, 12 inch monitor would be great, but we gotta get something onto the pole. It's gotta have a composite input. HDMI is okay, wouldn't complain, but composite's fine. You just need it for a viewfinder. <laughs> Here's Squeak, rocking out on camera red. That's, that's your camera today, you're the red camera. Yep. 